Hi, welcome back, Kitty Chaotic Casuals. This is me, Jose, and um, I'm going to be playing Alyssa, Director's Cut. This is going to be my first impressions. I plan to review this game. That is the plan. I actually got this game in mind. I saw that I had a playthrough of eight hours, and it just recently came out. I think it came out like two couple days ago. And I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to review something that hasn't been saturated. So, but the problem with that is, although the game time is around like eight hours uh, under normal circumstances, I don't know if this is a game I can play for that straight through. Okay, so if you don't know, and you just happen to be looking at the video, Alyssa is a homage to classic uh, survivor horror games, you know, like the original Resident Evil and Silent Hills, including the big uh, feature is like the tank controls, right? For better or worse, this is like an old school survivor horror. And um, playing through it, I would say the strongest thing that other, like, you know, like the the creepy monsters or, you know, the gameplay itself. But I would say that the biggest thing you're getting out of this is probably nostalgia. Um, I actually really do enjoy this game. I enjoy playing it. But nostalgia, for what it is, you know, like, we still have a quality of life difference now. You know, games do play out a little bit now. Different. You know, we have checkpoints, things like that. And so you're, you're kind of playing... When you play a game like this, you're, you're, you're taking all the quote-unquote flaws. If, if, if you, even if you can call it that. Like, I wouldn't even know if you would call that a flaws, but... Um, yeah. So, to give an example... Well, not an example. Like, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about is... So, I'll play a bunch and maybe, like, an hour's worth of progress. And I didn't save because it cost um, currency... And then I die and like everything I just, just didn't matter, right? Except for the experience. You can't put a price on experience, right? So, but I come to learn about myself that there's only so much of that I can do before I need to take a break. Because if not, I'm just going to stop enjoying myself. And I think my tolerance has gotten a lot better uh, trying to play Demon Souls. Like I started off with Elden Ring and then Demon Souls. And I don't, as far as I got, was just like, I, I killed the first boss. And, um, but even again, it's just like trial and error, doing things over, running, get your souls. So I think my patience has like gotten back, you know, cause I've been quote unquote spoiled, right? With uh, checkpoints and things like that. But regardless, I, I wanted to go, you know, beat this game. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to beat it as soon as as quick as I'd want to. But I definitely wanted to talk about it because at the end of the day, I'm still having a lot of fun. Um, it took me a little bit to kind of get used to the controls again. And even being used to it, it's still kind of like wonky, right? You're going to see me get into it right now. Um, like just running. So I'm going to really quick show you what I mean. Okay, that door is... Actually, let me go here real right quick. Get my trusty gun because last time I did a playthrough, I forgot to equip it. And um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run, and this is me attempting to walk or run a straight line. You see, not so bad. I've been playing for a little bit, but um, just to show you, I'm going to run from a monster, and you're gonna see it's gonna look a little awkward unless I've just overnight becomes totally used to it. So, okay, there's a monster, right? Now I'm gonna. Ro okay, well, got hit already. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there it is. So now, now this is me actually trying to run completely straight. Well, not straight. Obviously, I'm turning for a reason. Whew. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, honestly, I, I don't really get hit by these things a lot. This is probably the most I've been gotten hit by those like little tiny monsters. This is actually hilarious, right? This is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to start all over because I got hit twice and everything counts, right? Your damage, you don't want to just throw that away. Maybe I'll get a little practice hitting this guy. Huh. I can only assume I'm hitting that person. Oh, wait, where do you come from? Okay, that's where you came from. All right, let's, let's get a little bit more space. Now, I started... Oh, all right. Well, I started playing this. Um, the reason there's like these monsters... It's because in old school horror, horror games, you kind of want to pick and choose your battles. You don't want to just fight every encounter because, like, you know, uh, ammo, scarf, scarf, yeah, ammo, scarf, scarce, and um, 
But I, I bought this sword, and this is, if you're playing this game, I highly um, advise getting the sword. It will save you ammo. But let's, let's start all over, right? Because we already kind of just started off in a bad point. This is not how we want to start. There's no load button. Okay, we'll just quit, right? Doesn't mean, just because we're quitting doesn't mean we're critters, right? Guys? No? And, um, so... Jesus. Oh, this is so cool. Like, I, okay, let me talk about the stuff I love, because it always seems like I'm starting off bitching or complaining about something, right? Like, when I mean nostalgia, like, dude, this is nostalgia. Like, this really r r takes me back to, like, when I was in high school or maybe even younger, like, as far as eighth grade. Just playing this, uh, seeing cutscenes. Uh, cutscenes back then just always kind of, like, looked like this. Um, even though the original Resident Evil was, like, live-acted, but you had stuff like Parasite Eve... Um, even like uh, the Clock Tower series, like you would have like the like the intros, those that really does bring you back, and you get I don't know how nostalgia works in the the brain, but I feel something warm and fuzzy just playing this game and then seeing that. So that's a really great way. Like every time I start this game and I see that little intro, it really I feel like I'm going down uh, a time machine, you know, and uh, that's that's. I think I mentioned in the other video that, like, I tend to love games that, like, make me feel something, for better or worse. Um, except for anger. I don't really care for games that make me just feel angry all the time, you know? Um, Souls games. I'm looking at you guys. But anyway, um, but that felt good, right? That's just that one intro. I'm, I'm re immediately in this bad boy. Like, this is something I want to do. All right? I don't think I gotta go in that room for anything. Right? I don't know anything. Okay. I think I gotta go into this room. There's a guy here who's, like, pretty strong. I'm not gonna waste bullets on him because he's kind of slow. I'm just going to... Uh, here we go. This cabinet right here. I know there's a health pack. I got the things I needed. Like, there's something in that sink. That sink. Look, look, look. That sink. That one over there. And there's something in that room. I already got it. So... Um, also, okay, about this game, right? This, I think this is developed by, like, one guy. Uh, for the most part, who did most of the development. The music and the voice acting is done by his wife. And I gotta say, man, the music in this game, like, just, it really, really... I don't know if she played video games or if this was, like, his direction. Or, like, she came up with this on her, her own. But it just definitely feels like, I mean, it's just old-school survival horror game. Just It just feels that good, just listening to it. Um, the different rooms, like, pretty soon, like, the music's gonna change, like, when we go into another room. Um, the dialogue, like, just the way you're just reading it, like, they, I, I gotta find out more about this person's, like, past. I mean, not in a creepy way, like, hey, let me see where he's coming from. No, just more like, like, who, who made this game, like, w like, that, were there games that he played really say, like, yep, that makes a lot of sense, you know? Like, with their identity of who they are. Also, this video is going to be as long. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to make it super long. But there's going to definitely be a limit. Um, my kid's coming home from school. So when the dog starts barking like crazy, that's going to be my um, my cue to stop. But I, I made a video yesterday on um, my Splatoon first impressions slash review. I definitely want to do an update on that now that I've played it a little bit longer. Um... And doing these type of things is actually kind of fun. Uh, just recording a video as I play. I don't play as well, though, because it's hard for me to focus. Um, call it low intention span. Not only low intention span. Just maybe my where I focus. All right, I'm going to show you something creepy. Man, that's, that, that, that right there. That's, like, so old school. I don't know how... When I, when I, when I mean old school, just like... Like, this literally... This whole thing, this whole map, like the, the, the distilled pictures and everything like that, all of that, this looks like it could have been in the original Resident Evil 1, in like, um, Wesker's Mansion. Yeah. And, um, that, that ha there's no way that's, like, not the motivation or, like, the inspiration for this, right? It can't just be a coincidence, and maybe there's an interview out there where he, like, speaks on that, um, for the most part. But I'm only just like a couple of hours in and despite the frustrations of like losing or okay Yeah, I stopped playing because the first time I got through this little thing. I actually 
got through it. I think I only got hit once, and it was fine, and I was able to get through without getting hit again. The very last time, I got hit by every single pendulum, and that was, like, the first time I did Like, you would think, hey, man, I've done it a couple times, right? So, like, I, I got it down packed, and, like, nope, I just kept getting hit. And I felt myself getting a little frustrated, so I was like, you know, let's take a little break. You know, let's take a little break. Uh, made some tacos. I started watching Arcane. I'm not really a League of Legends person, but that I heard that show was really good, and um, I decided to give it a go, and I've been watching it. But, yeah, all right. So, I'm going to get this wrong. Um, this seems like a nightmare where tank controls. So, if you're watching this, already know. Like, my advice is, like, you can't fall off these cliffs. So, maybe just stick to one side. I'm going to give advice and get hit by all of them anyway. But, you don't have to worry about falling off these cliffs, right? Because that's not how the game is designed. So, you can kind of just lean in. And, uh, I think I remember vaguely um, that when I played the original Resident Evil running i have memories in my head like running down the halls but kind of like sliding against the walls a little bit you don't have to like do that circle motion thingy all right let's see if we can do this can let me remember how to run all right because i was just talking all this stuff all right let's get a little closer all right not too close because we don't want to die all right how close can we get is that a good way to gauge the the little lines i don't think so all right <laughs> okay okay I'm on this side now, so let me just wait till that thing turns this way. One, two, buckle my shoe. Run, 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 run! Ha, ha. Okay, look at that, look at this, you see? Take everything I, I said back. This is the first time I'm doing this, and I'm just that good at this game. Look at that, all right. Now run, 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 run! It's easier the last time, Pete, because you know you don't have to stop. Okay, you see that? Shoot, wait, hold on, I want to go back to that picture. See? Look at that. Easy. That's a screenshot right there. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot. There we go, that's done. Um, now there's going to be these creepy thingies. Let's run. Dun, dun. Look at that music. Okay, that's a nightmare. Run! Let me get somewhere. Ugh. That is so frustrating. Alright, here we go. They don't do a lot of damage, and I kind of want to just get them out the way. Because there's no way to get through this without getting hurt by them. But they don't do a lot of damage, so I'm just gonna... And there's a reason to kill them! They drop that... Look at that guy. Come on, man. Ah! Oh, tank controls, baby! Alright. That currency also actually helps. I still don't got that bless. There's another one there. He should be coming. Hey! Here! This way. Yeah. Alright, there she goes. Nope. Alright. Let me get a little closer. Hey! Hey, man. Uh oh. Alright. Here we go. Uh, okay, well. Can I. Can he just hit you? Just. Stop it! Stop, just fucking die. All right, excuse my French. Uh, come on, man, just... All right, this is embarrassing. You know, maybe if I just get a little closer. And Ben... No, all right, and... Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, now? Oh, uh, yeah, stop, just stop moving. Going to kill you now. Oh, okay, that's terrible. And shoot. You're not dead yet? This is a sword. Oh. Alright. Now we got that. It costs only one to save, so it's not as punishing as like Resident Evil and their um whatchamacallit, the uh their um ink ribbons. Is there anything in this room? I know there's a unpleasant surprise in this room if I keep going that way. Yeah, let's just grab this. And there's a puzzle there, but I don't have the answer to that puzzle. It's you wanna know where you wanna know where it is? It's there. There. Okay. Just get it. there. Alright. So I'm not gonna go in there. There's a little 
person there that's not very friendly. Okay, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a puzzle here. Um, there should be a med thing here. No. Alright, well, you know what? There for sure is a med thing here. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna finish this little puzzle. The puzzle not too hard. Honestly, like, this one's really easy. Because, like, for instance, you're gonna move the things, right? Okay, that was the right one. But let's say this one doesn't go here, right? You can't put it there, so it's you don't really have to figure it out. This is process elimination. So this little guy, I believe he goes here. And this uh, medium fellow right here. And, alright. Wait, nope. And we're going to rotate that clank, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's... And look at that. It's, it's working. It's a, a cage key. So... Um, so what does this game have besides nostalgia? Um, well, it's, it, it's fun, I guess. That doesn't sound like a, a branding endorsement. I, I just want to say, just be, um, that I'm just going to state outright, like, I do love this game. So if I don't describe it in the best way as someone who's trying to do this with video games uh, for a living, just, uh, just bear with me. That is really loud. Okay, so, um... Let me see. Yeah, so, what can I say that I haven't said? Other than just, it puts you in a feel. So, I, maybe I'll just play the game, you can see it for yourself. This is also the beginning part, too, so this is not too spoilery. There's still, like, a, uh, a decent amount of game that you can kind of discover for yourself. I got the, this game is also not, like, uh, super expensive. It's, like, 20 bucks. I think less than 20 bucks. And it's on Steam and a Nintendo Switch. This might be a fun game for the Switch. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 5 because I want the graphics to look better. Right, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's just, that's not why you play a game like this. This might be also a good game to play on a Steam Deck, right? Like, on the go. I mean, then again, do you want to play survival horror on the go? Don't you want to be, like, more immersed? But then again, are you really being scared at a game like this? I mean, those creepy monsters, were they scary? I mean, I guess so. They were. They did look like the stuff of nightmares. So I'm not gonna read any of that because I've kind of read it. I'm kind of just like getting to where I was before I died, you know. And I started thinking about games like that, like Demon Souls, and games that are not particularly easy. Um, there's an easier mode, like you can do this auto aim, but then you get less currency in the beginning. So I decided to like, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna go, not do the auto aim, get the currency and see. Give it the old college try, as so the kids say these days. Alright, let me just... Where did I want to go? I want to go here, right? Buck with fills with dec decorations. Party decorations. There's, okay. Look at that. I'm not going to say I'm not so bad with these tank controls, man. Right? It, it could be a lot worse, right? It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, well, that was supposed to go straight. That fucking thing is scary. Let me get out of here. No? Um, uh, we're going to go, uh, go ahead and use this key. Oh, yeah, I wrote the wrong key. We're going to use this key. And not even go near that thing. What the? Am I dreaming? I actually haven't been here before. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really neat. I hope that's terrifying. Oh, look at this. We're we're actually discovering something together. This is kind of neat. I haven't gone through this door. I guess that is uh, that is. Oh shit. Okay, let's let's let's, let's boogie. I got a hat. What happened? What's now? What's going on? Huh? So it really was just smoke and mirrors. Impressive. I don't think I've ever been here. You know, this is like my second or third uh, playthrough after dying. And I keep going a different way. And I keep thinking I'm going to the same... I really should get that shotgun right. Because I have a lot of uh, bullets for it. Um, I'm just being really cheap with the ammo 
for obvious reasons. Maybe I should just try to invest in that shotgun. That seems like it would make sense. Because, like, maybe they're giving me all this ammo for a reason. I'm just not going to... Okay, so that's... I don't know what hit me before. Let's look at my health. I gotta get past that monkey. But how? He... Alright, did I have my gun last time? I don't think I had my gun. Yeah, and I think I just had the sword because I forgot to equip it. Hence, like, in the beginning, I don't know if you heard me say, like, alright, let's get my, my gun this time. Is there a fast way to change guns? Do I have... Yeah, I think I gotta just go into the menu. Oh, no! I forgot the gun when I reloaded! Uh, okay. Well, you know, there you go. That's who's playing this game. What a, a silly man. No, 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 no. Am I stuck? Okay. So I gotta get past this monkey. Maybe I'll aggro him and then run away. Hey! Oh! Ah! Okay. Get out of here, monkey! Let's dip this way. I'm literally trying to walk as straight as possible. Oh my god. Let's just... Crisscrossing. Okay, well... Jesus. Please, let me in. Where am I now? How did I get to that other room? I was at a room before. Let's see what nightmares are gonna await me now. I think I'm gonna go try my luck with the monkey. No, it's just... I'm just gonna, maybe... Okay, wait, hey, 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 hey! Just, just stay over there. <sighs> okay. Let's take a breather. Let's, everybody just calm down. And just relax. And look at this uh, note. There is a note. Yes, there is. It reads as I follows. I know this is not the most cheerful job in the world. Don't stare at the clock all the time. Try to get some sleep. Maybe count some sheep or something. Okay. Right. That's stupid. I don't know who came up with that master plan. Counting sheep. Ah, I think I've tried... Uh, counting sleep, counting, counting sleep, counting sheep. Before as a kid, I think that was an advice my uncle gave me when I always said I was scared. Honestly, I might have been playing Resident Evil. I'll tell you the truth, first time I played it was on a Sega Saturn. Do you know what that is, kids? A Sega Saturn? You ever heard of it? Yeah. So, all right. Another hat. Okay, we got two hats going. We're 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 ready for a party. Nothing should. Yeah, that's that's the hat. What the hell? <sighs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Because you can get through that door. Well, that's, um... Yep, that, that, that's alarming. What was this? Did that doll escape? It would appear so. It would appear so, Alyssa. It would appear so. Alyssa? Alyssa? Alyssa, Alyssa. All right, well, let's just try to get out that door. Oh, where the fuck did it? No, okay, this is not good. This is this is a lot of a lot of nightmares. All right, well, it's locked. Well, we happen to have that key, right? So we're gonna go ahead and use that. <sighs> this is sheep, all right. Are you under here? Is someone, this looks like there's something under here. The clock is missing its pointers, but I can still hear it ticking. Strange, every tick sounds different from one another. What 
Does it? Am I stupid? Those ticks sound exactly the same. Yeah, that sounds exactly the same to me. All right, well, there's sheep on a wall. Sheep are painted on a wall. Eight small sheep and ten big sheep to be exact. All right. Don't stare at the clock all the time. I must be missing something. Wait, were those party hats? Were they just big... Uh, Clicker thingies? Let's find out. I can't use it here. That makes sense. Well. The walls must be interesting. Furniture cover up with blankets. Man. Alright, well, there's nothing to. This lady! Hey, hey, just... What are you doing? Consent! Run! Okay. I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. I am not gonna make it alive, aren't I? There's no way. There is no way. A gun might have helped. A gun might have helped. Why is everything trying to kill me? Dun 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 Bro <sighs> What is that noise? Yeah, it's you I think that's like their nemesis. I think I'm good. I think we're good. Everyone's good. Nope. Nope. Hey, what the? Ow! Stop. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Okay, so that's me dying. I guess you could say I didn't get too far because I didn't have my gun. So, yeah. Um, those things will never not be frustrating. So, I guess the, if you'll enjoy the... Okay, if you can get past the old school uh, frustrations... Like, um, there's a note. I borrowed a pulse meter from the... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. If you can get past the old school frustrations, right? Like, just, um... Dying, and then having to, like, not depend on a checkpoint. I mean, like, if... Okay, if you're into nostalgia, right? And you... You you play Souls games, so, like, dying something over again and learning from your mistakes is, like, right up your alley. And... You, you still really like uh, playing those old school... Um, I've been here already. I'm not going to show you any of this. Um, survivor horror games. If that's something that you know your patients can handle, um, then this game will definitely be for you. Because, I, like, so... I mean, at least so I can't say that for sure. I would have to beat the game to know that, wouldn't I? That's kind of... Saying. I just have a feeling. I usually have a good feeling um, when it comes to like the overall game because as frustrated as I am I still kind of want to keep playing it I want to um I don't know conquering I don't know if I get enjoyment of conquering games like some people but I, I guess I want to enjoy the rest of this game alright I want to um I guess it just makes me feel good I think I only mentioned that like 10 times right it's a it makes it's a feel good game it makes me feel very safe 
I don't know if it makes you safe. That's the weird way to describe this about horror monstrosity. Um, or, I don't know. It's, it's very comforting. It's like a, a very scary uh, uh, cheeseburger. You know? No, that's what it is. This game is a very scary cheeseburger from the day. Um, it's like a home-cooked meal. It's like a home-cooked meal from like a parent who who wasn't a great cook. But it still feels like home. You know what I mean? That's a good way to describe it. Because these games weren't perfect, but they were as good as they can get, I guess. Like, this is how things were. Um, did they need to be that way? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, is that a room? No, that's where I just came from, stupid. Alright, let's get this other thing right here. All right. Let's go back to that uh, place really quick. Give me a hand. Can I hit that thing? Is that? Yeah, get out of here. What's your hand? I wonder if. Oh. Huh. Get out of here, hands. All right, well, now let's go get this stuff. All right, I'm gonna run back. I don't think there's anything else. I go, my memory is not that long. So from what I can remember, there's nothing else. Every now and then I'll feel a little insecure. Like maybe I did forget something and then I'll find out I didn't. How close can I get without? Ha 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 ha! Honestly, I think those lines are a good um, measuring point of how far you can go. I didn't realize that. Ha ha ha! Alright. I think this. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's. Out. Stop it. Did I get the bird cage key yet? I don't think I did. Right. Right. All right. Well, let's get. Stop it. Alright. You see, now the trick is. Let's get all that currency. What the f What the hell is that noise? What is attacking? Oh, it's this big goddamn head thingy. Right. Alright, well, let's. And they just, like, lick me. Alright, so we're not doing too great. This is not a great start. This is something I can grab, right? Yes, a black uh, box martini shots. That's what that is. And was there anything else? Guys, can you remember? Can you yell across the screen? Yeah, I think that was it. Wait a second. What was that? Oh! That's where these party hats can go. On top of these heads! Aha! That's what makes sense. Professor of Astronomy, right? So that's where that was. Leopard's uh, Master of Psychology. Really, it's Isabella Biology. I want to avoid that room that had that big bitch in there. Alright. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. You know, you're really causing it to be a nuisance. There we go. Oh. Oh. You know what? Let me heal myself because that stuff is not gonna. Um. I could have sworn I had three health packs. Wasn't that in the other room? I think no, no. I get the key. 
and this room, right? Let me just get that medication first, right here. Nope, that's not where it was. All right, well, we'll just get the key first. Um, clogs, you big one, you go. Oh yeah, the controls, man. There we go. All right, and this one right there. This one right here. And let's rotate this clank. All right, we're rotating. All right. Nice. I think there's a bird in there, right? Because it's a bird cage. Is there something here that I missed last time? There's a letter here, like it sees. We received a letter of men the tides again, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, yeah. We read that before, didn't we? I don't know if you were here for that. Am I talking too low? I should really probably speak a little louder when I do things like this. All right, all right. So I'm actually, if I die again, I'm going to take a break. Only that's my limit of not, like, messing up. What's this? I wonder if I can avoid that that lady because she makes things harder. All right, yeah, there's a stupid clown. Do I need to even fight that stupid clown right away? Maybe I can like debate it. Yeah. Stop. Time our blocks better. <sighs> I want to kick you. Now let's see what's here. Did we miss something here. Maybe let's check everything. Still the images and all. Nothing seems to be here. Nothing here. Nothing here. I don't know what the answer to this is. That's right. We're just going to guess. Yeah, that's not it. I have to know. All right, we'll come back here. We don't have to worry. Right, what was that? I saw something. Right. Okay, a box of martini shots. All right. Um... Alright, we're doing- we're in a better place. Because we have that gun. What is that hand? What is this? It's not a thing. It looks like a thing. Alright, well. It's locked. Let's use our birdcage key. Ah! Alright. This is... I'm gonna move this. I did this puzzle, but you see that top left box over there? There's something creepy comes out of there, and if you attack it, it kills you. That's how my journey ended last time. So now, alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to play until my I either find a save point, right? Or I die again. That's gonna be the goal. How can we do this? So, all right, let's move this puzzle here. I'm not an expert at puzzles. I just did this before, and that's why I died. I have no idea what goes beyond that room. But, ah, uh, that's that's me when I wake up in the morning. Uh, ah, that's corny. It's a stupid ass joke. All right. Um, ba 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 ba. Do I have to keep? Yeah, all right. I'll keep talking. That would make sense. Okay, can we get through there? All right. Now. So wait, is this a first impressions video, or am I just talking, playing the game? I mean, those are my these are my first impressions. That I I, I feel something when I play this game. It makes me feel happy and tingly, and. Uh, but before I can 
let it get me as frustrated as a game can get me, I stop playing. Which means that I play less of the game out of time. But you know what? If actually over time, like I used to, Survivor Horrors used to be like my, what I used to play exclusively. But then I did learn that I don't play it like I used to, like when I was a kid. Like those are games that I could play for a long times, um, for hours, hours on an end. But I noticed I can't do that with Survivor Horrors anymore. Like Resident Evil 4, Alan Wake. Like I played a lot of that. I, I, I beat them both. But I could have beat it sooner if I didn't take the breaks I normally take, you know? And now the games that I can actually play for extended period of time are games that are narrative driven. Like Baldur's Gate 3. Actually, not even necessarily narrative driven because I started playing Elden Ring and I, could, I was playing that thing for hours, 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 hours. Um. That was a game that arguably that I, I would keep playing for a long time. Oh my god, you stupid clown! I don't like... Alright. Okay, well... Uh. Alright, we're getting better at that. It's probably gonna cost us our last med kit. Now, all we gotta do is, like, find a checkpoint. Why have all this monies? This is not a checkpoint. I really want to find a checkpoint. Will there be a checkpoint or will there be a nightmare? Mm, I guess both. Oh, checkpoint, right? No, no, not a checkpoint. Not a checkpoint. Not at all. Just some weirdo in his jammies. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's go somewhere else. All right. Huh. Well, we found the other hat. I don't look so well. No, we don't. No, we don't. So, also in the review, like when I play the review, I'll probably talk about the game more, like its story and stuff. Um, I guess I can mention it now. Basically, you're this cop. You were chasing after, like, this weirdo. And, um... You... You kind of chase him down, and so you fight, like, these li like little monsters, and they seemingly kill you, but then you wake up in this dollhouse. This is what this is. This is a dollhouse. And they... You were, before, you were just, like, a cop. I, I don't know... I know that's probably from a culture, like, from another country or something, that outfit. But basically, you're dressed like, uh, that cop chick from Pokemon. Alright. We're going... We don't have a lot of health items. But we do have a lot of bullets. So I think we can be a little bit more, um... We don't have to be as conservative with these bullets. Why can't I get to my gun? There right, we go. We're gonna equip this. And then the thing that we're gonna see, we're just gonna shoot it. Freeze! Okay. Oh, there she is. Nope. Alright, we're gonna. We get a little closer. A little closer. You know what? Maybe we'll just run. This gate is locked. There's some kind of slot here. Are there a lot of slots in Las Vegas? Alright. What the hell is that? White wine stain note. At night I can hear something crawling behind the walls and it's way bigger than a rat. Could it be one of those missing patients? Missing patients? They all touch the stone and none of them have survived this treatment. Are you serious? Just... Ow! Please don't let me die. I am dead. Wait, unless I can do this. This is frustrating. Mm. 
Alright, well, he's dead now. Uh, we read that note. Okay, no need for this. Where's that? Yeah, not, it's not time to relax. I wish I had time to relax. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey! You're... Welcome. Now we can save. Look, we did it, guys. We did it, boys. We survived the, to the checkpoint. And we can buy this thing. Thank you. Thank you! All right, um... We're going to s let's see what items we have. Perhaps it would behoove us to purchase uh, at least one of these, right? Thank you. Thank you. All right, and now we're gonna save. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for thank you guys for if you made it this far into the video. Um, if this if I really would like some constructive criticism with this video. Um, something you would have liked to seen. Maybe I could shut up more uh, while playing it, or maybe talk more about like the game itself. Like, or was it just fine? Like, no, you just you, you give me your first impressions. You're talking shit while you're playing the game. Was that enough? Like, did you enjoy that? Uh, I, I really would like to know what you think. And I know, like, asking for comments or like, hey, just comment on blah blah blah, and people would know. It, it helps with the algorithm. It certainly does that. But I genuinely want to know. So um, subscribe if you're not. If you don't mind seeing my videos pop up in your timeline and you know if you like the video that would help if you can remember to do it because even when you click off the video like you kind of just x out and go to the next thing it's very easy to go to the next thing so even a one little simple doop i wouldn't mind that at all obviously not so thank you for staying with me and uh have a good day